They're not finna be out there stabbing me in my eye. They're not finna be out there fouling the shit out of us. We're gonna have to fight back. This the playoffs. And they ain't finna be calling no damn fouls. Caitlin, Mitchell, Boston, coach sides. The hell we're talking to them, coach sides. Listen, they are not about to be calling them fouls, so y'all gotta get physical with them. If they really wanna have a, a, a fake call on Boston, make that shit real next time. <laughs> And yo, what up, it's your boy Chocolate with the Sexy Body, and welcome to a new episode of Chocolate Play. Look, this might be the most mellow you ever see me give an intro because I don't want my blood pressure to go up. I don't want my blood pressure to go up, guys. I'm telling you, the game yesterday was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. And for somebody who didn't even get to watch the game, if you just want to find out what the score was, who won, and you didn't ask anybody, and you just looked on ESPN and saw that damn score, you wouldn't even want to watch no more basketball from this. You you wouldn't. Because you'd be like, what in the hell happened out there? 69 to 93? Did y'all at least pinch them? What happened? I'll tell you what happened. Kaylin and Mitchell was off. They was off. Now we got it, we can make an excuse for Kaylin, because she got stabbed in the eye by Dejane Carrington with them long ass claw nails. Why is you out there with claws, Dejane Carrington? We're playing basketball. You're not going to a damn club. You all dolled up out there, hair and makeup, did, lashes, and nails. Like you're going to go take pictures and shit. You're going to go play basketball. <laughs> what the hell? You're not going on a date. And the stab Kaylin has an eye. Now, a lot of people saying that affected us shooting. We're going we gonna to see. As, as a matter of fact, I would like to hear from CC and say if that was something that affected her. Because if it did, then it showed. Because she shot two for 13 from three point. Two for 13. She was four for 17 shooting. Four for 17 shooting, guys. You're not going to win a game like this. You're not going to win a playoff game like this. You're not going to do that shit. It is, it's not going to happen. At Mitchell, your ass ain't off the hook either. Two for ten. Were you injured? Is your ankles messed up? What happened? What happened out there? Because that shit cannot happen again. I hope you two guys are having a conversation with each other. And, you, and, and like, you know what? We not going to let this shit happen again. They not going to kick our ass and, and kick our ass too. They not going to be out there stabbing me in my eye. They're not finna be out there following the shit out of us. We're gonna have to fight back. This is the playoffs, and they ain't finna be calling no damn fouls. Caitlin, Mitchell, Boston, coach sides. The hell we're talking about coach sides. Listen, they are not about to be calling fouls, so y'all gotta get physical with them. If they really wanna have a, a, a fake call on Boston, make that shit real next time. Make it real next time. Seriously. Y'all going to have to get down and dirty with these girls. And Smith is one of the people I thought they could be able to do that. I thought she was, but she's not. That's why she got her ass yanked out the game. She was, she was not productive at all yesterday. She played five minutes, I believe. Five. And you a starter. Dantas ate up all that damn time and scored 12 points off of that shit. Congratulations, Dantas. You might be in the starting lineup. I would put you in the starting lineup. Coach Sides, all this tinkering you was doing with the damn lineups was, was stupid was you didn't tinker with the starting lineup, which you, which you should have. We saw what Lexi did out there. I told y'all, she's the Energizer Snow Bunny. She's everywhere. She's every damn where out there. Now, but you got to make up for it in your points. Seriously. That's what she made up for because she only had four points. But I'm okay with her four points because she was getting offensive rebounds Giving us the team a next a second chance for possession to score. So give it to her. You know what? Next time you get your rebounds, Lexi, just go up with that shit. Get the rebound and go up with it. <laughs> get take, take the five if they're gonna give it to you. Let's see if they're gonna give it to you. Cause she was out there hustling. She was doing her thing. Boston had a, a double double in her first playoff game. But it's all for not. It's all for not when the shooting from three point is 21%. You're not going to win the game like that. And you know what else? Y'all didn't game plan for this shit, Coach Sides. I don't know, but I, I do know why. Because you, you're Coach Sides. You would never even thought of this. As soon as they put Bonner on Kalen, right? What do you do? What do you do when they put Bonner on Kalen? Because she could, she could barely get past the girl with the long ass arms. And if she did get past her, she's sticking an arm out and she's getting blocked on her. That was smarter than to put Bonner on her like that, man. Because if she can't keep up with her in speed wise, right, she's lit, she's long. She's long, so she's disrupting and sticking her arms out there. That's a problem. What are you gonna do, Coach Sides? You're gonna have to call some kind of picks. You gotta get some screens going on. So you get some switches and get that damn girl off of her. 
Get DeJanae back on her. Because she, she can go at DeJanae now. She showed that. That's why they won the last game. The last regular season game, the Sun, and they played, they won. Because she was able to finally break down DeJanae, even though DeJanae got some rips on her ass. But it don't matter. Like I said, I would rather have CeCe have 11 turnovers and, and 28 points and 12 uh, assists. I, instead of having her 11 points and two turnovers. That means she couldn't do anything with the ball. She didn't have it. Mitchell had it. It was running around all the circles and shit. Wheeler got in the game, running around all the circles and shit. They had no plan against this team when they came out there and saw that Bonner was guarding Caitlin. They had no plan. They didn't plan for Mabry to get in the game and go bananas like how she did. They didn't plan for that shit. I did. I said it. I was like, look, you guys have terrible perimeter defense. And you're going to go and get somebody who went and picked somebody who can shoot from three like crazy. You better not leave that girl open. She was the second leading scorer on the Sky team. And she's coming off the bench on the Sun team. How insane is that? That means that they got other players out there that can shoot just as good as her. But now y'all going to see. Because whoever the hell was in the game before her, her shit is done. She walked out that bitch on a boot. She is done for the rest of this regular uh, playoffs. Maybe the whole shits. I don't know. So now you're going to you're gonna have to deal with Mabry in the starting lineup. What, what does that mean? How is the defense going to look now? Who are you putting on Mabry? Who's going to guard her? This is, what, this is what you do. This is what you should do. I, I'm seriously. This is what you should do. You're going to have to put Hull on either Mabry or Bonner because both of them are three-point shooters. I don't want to put Kaylin out there on them because Kaylin's perimeter defense isn't that good. It's not. Mitchell's perimeter defense is better than Kaylin's. So let's get Kaylin out there on one of them too. Let's let's go ahead and I'm putting I'm putting Hull on Mabry and I'm putting Mitchell on Bonner. Yeah, she's giving up a lot in inches in height. She's giving up a lot, but she can get in her chest. She's faster than Lexi. I just need you to run around and be out there in front of her. Just try to distract it. Just stick your hands up. I know you're short, but stick your hands up. Make it a challenge for her. Right? Go to zone defense. Coach sides, you have to find a way to adjust. We cannot lay our heads down and be like, damn, man, we got, we got whooped, man. 69, 93, everything. We tried, the, the, we tried everything. The refs are against us. You got poked in the eye, Kalen. Look, all that shit happened. But if y'all were making y'all down three-point shots, at, at, at least if Mitchell would have made, what the hell, she shot two for 10 from three point. Two for 10. Let's give her three of those. What is that? Six? Kaylin shot two for 13. Let's give her three more of those. Another six, that's 12. Y'all would at least had 91. <laughs> I mean, 81. Y'all would have at least had 81. And that would have also slowed down the game because it's, it's playing different when you go on score for score. Somebody, but they start stopping y'all. In fact, y'all stopped y'all selves. Y'all stopped y'all selves with the poor shooting. Coach Sides finally gets into a mind. I got to finally get Smith out the game. But Katie Lou, we had a Katie Lou sighting. Why was there a Katie Lou sighting in this game? There was no need for a Katie Lou sighting. Mm -mm. Katie Lou was garbage time. I, I gave Katie Lou props. I, I did. I, gave, I said her confidence was off. Everything was, you know, and she actually got in the game and played very well. But she got in the game and played very well against the backups when she was in Atlanta. These are the starters. And they wasn't having that shit. And Katie, Katie Lou got in the game and got right back out. So this is what is happening. They're having a hard time trying to find uh, time for Kaylin to get some damn rest. That's, that's another one of them. So if her eye was messed up. And she had a hard time to get rest. She's not going to be able to shoot. I've been saying this shit. Her legs are gone when she got a person like Bonner on her. And then when Bonner switches off of her, DeJanae Carrington get on her. What do you do? They keep switching on her. And they only, only teams that play against Kaylin, the only teams I see keep switching on them damn point guards and picking them up full court when they play against Kaylin. You don't see that shit in no other games. That's how they neutralize Kalen. They got the formula, the blueprint. They got it from South Carolina. Coach Sides, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you going to go talk to the coaches in Iowa to ask them how do you break down some shit like that when they double team and, and full court press on Kalen? Are you going to do that shit? Because if you don't, you get ready to kiss y'all ass goodbye. You say goodbye. Y'all going to be done for these playoffs. It's a wrap. First round exit. This is not how I planned Kalen Clark's debut in the playoffs to be. The fact that we talked about the women in the playoffs and that they didn't unanimously make her rookie of the year. 
It was all a bunch of shit about hating her and look how far this woman has come right now. I want her to succeed. This ain't got shit to do with black and white. This got shit to do, all shit got to do with the underdog and how they talk shit about her, how she wasn't going to live up to none of them expectations and look what she did. Her team is in the playoffs and they ain't saying shit about that. All them damn records that girl done broke too. This shit is pathetic how they talk about this woman. It really is. It's, it's a damn shame. All of them. Angel took the shit too, but Angel, you took the shit that you took because of what you started for yourself. So you took the shit too. You didn't have to. It's almost like nobody didn't want to get on this damn girl's side. And I'm, look, I'm really looking at this shit like, what the hell did she really do? What did she do? This ain't no damn black man coming to the defense of a white woman. This is a black, this is a, a regular ass black dude that's a casual fan of sports who wasn't watching none of this shit. And I watch now because somebody told me there's a woman who played basketball like Steph Curry. So I came to watch the shit. And then I saw how fucked up they treat her. Come on, man. Y'all got to see all this shit. Y'all have to. Y'all have to. You can't sit there on your ass and say that Angel was at, at any point better than Caitlyn. Out there for rookie of the year? No, them double-doubles didn't mean shit. They did not win games. They didn't win games, and everybody knew it. They knew it. That's why Monica McNutt said that she going to base the rookie of the year off of who has the best record. She felt like the Sky had a better team than Fe the Fever did. She wasn't expecting the Fever to turn this shit around. Come on, man, that was one and eight. She wasn't expecting them to turn that shit around, but they did and made it to the playoffs. So now she can't say nothing. In fact, I ain't heard her ass say nothing. Anybody know what hell Monica McNutt is? Has anybody seen her since that damn take? Or any of the ones she had with Stephen A? Her ass, did they fire her? <laughs> Keep you, she, she on vacation? That's a long ass vacation. You seen her ass that damn, was she, was she pregnant? She, her ass is gone. This is what happens when you say stupid shit. Everybody say all that stupid shit. Come on, man. But y'all got to get it together, women. Y'all got to get together. Look, I'm going to cut this thing off right now. I believe y'all can win. I do believe y'all can win this next game, but it's going to take something. It's going it's to take for y'all to score. It's going to take for y'all to score, for one. It's going to take for y'all to figure out a way to get these switches off of Bonner on Kaitlyn. Get, get into pick and roll situations. Get the switch on her. And then get the ball to Boston. If, if Bonner is guarding you, who's guarding Boston? And who's guarding Smith? Who's guarding them? Because I would put Dantas in the game. And I would stretch out the floor with Dantas. So y'all can start shooting. Because Dantas was on fire. It's up to y'all now, Kaylin and Mitchell. What y'all gonna do? Don't make this an early exit. Look, guys, that's my time. I appreciate y'all for being here. Look, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you know when your boy drops videos and live streams. I'm out this thing. Peace. <laughs>